opportunity now. Me, me and Bex are here. I can't do this. This is too scary. <laughs> And welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. There's something demonic here. You said that, not me. You've got your opportunity now. Me, me and Bex are here. I can't do this. This is too scary. Ah! 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 What was it? Ah! Ah! Oh, wow. I'm standing outside, 30 East Drive, where alleged supernatural activity is taking place. Two rise and the Pritchard family will live here. Neighbours claim to hear unexplained noises, such as bangings and chanting, when the house is empty and the family are out at work. Is this an elaborate hoax by the Pritchard family, or is this a genuine case of hauntings in this unassuming house behind me? More to this story as it unfolds. I'm just Roger, reporting for GD News. Tonight we investigate 30 East Drive in Pontefract, home of the Black Monk. Back in the late 1960s, this unassuming house on an ordinary housing estate became the focus of a mischievous and sometimes violent poltergeist. Shortly after moving into the house, the Pritchards, an ordinary working-class family, began to experience inexplicable and frightening activity. From pools of water on the floor to photographs seemingly being slashed by unseen forces, this house has gained the reputation of being one of the most paranormally active locations in the UK. Joe the father was trapped in this very coal cellar, with what he describes as a very large black figure coming towards him. The family named the poltergeist Fred, and for the most part, his antics were viewed as harmful. The antics came up the stairs and into her bedroom. When the attack had finished, finger marks could clearly be seen around her throat, yet no living person was near her at the time of the attack. Thirty East Drive claimed to be one of the most haunted locations, is also home to hit movie When the Lights Went Out, which tells the story of the location's hauntings. I don't like this house, it gives me the creeps. Dad? Yes, love? Did you just move my stuff? Oh, Sally's got it into her head that we're not alone. What do you mean? That we've got a ghost that I could kill. What was that? Bloody hell do you think you're playing at? What's your interest in all this, anyway? A teacher's concern for people. So is a very special girl. Well, you've still got the lights on. Get rid of it, Father. From what you've told me, that would require an exorcism. Of all evil, deliver us a lock. <laughs> Sudden and unprovided death. Hastman, <laughs> who are called to help. <laughs> You're still here, aren't you? Tonight we put ourselves in harm's way in the hope of finding out who or what still haunts this house. Oh wow, we're pulling up wow. to the house yep. right now. We're pulling it up to it now. It's amazing. Really spooky. Can't wait to start this investigation. So we've arrived at 30 East Drive. 
believed to be one of the most paranormally active locations in yep. the UK. Haunted by a black monk and a poltergeist. It is, and I've been looking forward to coming here, but right now I feel a bit like he doesn't want us here. Yeah, as soon as you walk up, you can feel sort of an oppressive feeling on you, can't you? Yeah, like this house isn't welcoming us into it. And I'm looking forward to seeing if that feeling of that dark feeling of pushing us away happens when we get inside. It's almost as if the house is watching us, isn't it? Yeah, waiting in anticipation. All eyes on us tonight. Should we go in? Let's do it. Let's go yeah. and investigate 30 East Drive. Whoa. As soon as you come in here, you can, like we said outside, it gets worse, it yeah. gets heavier. Heavier feeling. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is, I believe, the coal shed. This is the coal cellar. The cellar. So if we go in, then if we catch anything, you come in as well. Yeah. If we catch anything, or if you catch anything behind us, that would be amazing. For the feeling you get in here, is dark. Yeah. It's dingy. It's cold. Very, very, very cold. I suppose it's keeping the cold. But the whole house is in fact warm, isn't it? Yeah, very warm. And I can I can see why people feel uneasy in here, but I can feel a pressure on my head. You know what it feels like when you just stand here? It feels like you're being dragged in. Push, pulled in? Yeah. Yeah. It does feel like that. Because you have to really hold yourself. Hold yourself. Feel, you feel like you're off balance? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shall we go through Let's the, go the through. rest of the house and yeah. see where else we feel before we start this investigation? So this is where we've set up all of our equipment. This yeah. is our area. This is going to be our base room. Yeah. Which is... And this is the kitchen. And instantly you get a feel like somebody's watching you from all angles. Yeah. Don't you? Isn't it weird out? You come in here and it's definitely silent. It wasn't. What did you hear? A bang from that room over there. And that's the living area, the living Should room. Should we go over? Yeah, let's go over Let's go over and room. check it because... We're hearing these noises, we need to investigate them before exactly. we start our investigation. Now it's 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 day, daytime, and we've arrived here in the daytime and there's paranormal activity already happening. So, you know, it just shows you can investigate a place in the day and in the night listen, as we're gonna do. Come in guys, come in. Listen, listen. I swear to god I heard footsteps above. Really? Yeah. Apparently, the black monk was um, either hung, I think, and then put into a well, and the well was here on the floor. And when you stand here, it does actually feel a little bit off balance. Yeah, and you can you, you can tell that this isn't a normal home. No. You can tell that something nasty. Yeah, has been definitely. Here, or maybe still here. Mm, it's like the walls have captured it, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's got a really eerie feeling of death. Yeah. Now, we know Joe, the father, died upstairs. We know that, yeah. D did you catch that on the audio? Yeah, something. Yeah, tap, tap. that was a bang, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so if we take you out of here and we go in the hall, you might be able to hear it a bit louder. Yeah, let's go, let's go through, let's go through and yeah. see what else. Okay. Before we... Uh, Are you here? I believe there's a man called Fred. Well, the poltergeist, place. family named the poltergeist Fred, to try and ordinary up this demonic thing that was haunting them and playing harmful tricks sometimes on them. So if we shout for Fred. Yeah. Fred, are you here? Did you hear that? Went back. Did you hear that? That was upstairs. Yeah. It's like. We're getting closer. I like he's lowering us upstairs. Yes. Do you see. want us to come upstairs? Oh my god! Never, never, never. That was. Do you know? If you look, pan that camera up there, you'd be able to see this clock, and I think that might have been that clock. <laughs> Fred, 
Are you waiting for us at the top of the stairs? Was it you who made that noise before? Yes. Oh, Did you tell me you I heard, heard that? that? That was a definite response. Listen. Fred! I don't know if you're picking it up on cameras, but I can hear what sounds like a pulsating noise. Growl. Oh, you got a growl. It's like, like a, like a growl. Mm -hmm. Fred? Fred! Did you hear that? That was a growl. That was. That was a growl. Ooh, feels different in here. Doesn't yeah. it? What does it feel like your head feel all weird? Yeah. But it feels like somebody's doing this to your arms. Is that what you feel? Pulling you down. You? Yeah. yeah like, like a weight of something. Yeah. I know what you mean. That was weird as soon as it was just there when I walked. I wonder if that was the feeling of maybe Joe. Coming to bed. Replaying. Replaying. Wow. Oh. That's weird. Okay. Furniture in this room also is believed to have been moved here and, yes. and pushed around. Yeah. Like this this place I feel is going to have a lot of activity. Definitely we, a lot to offer, isn't it? When we go dark later, mm. I think that this is going to be an immense night of activity with this poltergeist still activity. Well, I think you should actually do a loan. <laughs> in here, only yeah. because Joe died, he's the man of the house. Yeah, he might communicate better with you being the man. My man. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a lock off in the room. As well. Definitely, we'll put Definitely a lock, lock off offs. at the camera. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think we should. Because Joe died in the bathroom. The it? bathroom, but we don't really want to show the bathroom unless we really have to. But obviously, this is where he slept, so it might be a good idea to do a loan. Okay. This is where he was at his most vulnerable while he was sleeping. So. At this moment in time, I feel we're being watched. Yeah, it does. You do get that all over the house. You do get that feeling of somebody watching you or different entities watching you, maybe. I think, yeah, I think it's I, not I, just I, one, is it? I think we're waiting for him to get us off guard. Yeah. And then yeah. once he's got us off guard, he's going to go. Yeah. Because, like I said before, it's daytime and already things are starting to happen. It's not like this. this Spirit, this energy is a soft natured no. spirit, is it? It's, no. it's I, I'm here and hello, I, I'm going to do something for you. I feel it's not just one spirit here. No, definitely. I feel there's multiple, mm. multiple spirits here, yeah. and possibly spirits that don't belong here. Mm. I yeah. think somebody may have brought something here. What that attracted, uh, held some sort of I, energy I, yeah, to? Yeah, I think somebody may have opened a portal. To a different dimension, yeah, and brought a Quite spirit possibly, in. yeah. Carol, welcome to Ghost Dimension. Um, you live next door to Thirty East Drive. Yes. How long have you lived there for? Twenty nine years. Twenty nine years. Yep. And would you say that this is one of the most haunted houses in the UK? Or from my own experience, yes. What have you experienced? various things in my house and this house. So the activity sometimes goes into your house as well? It's on both. It's the ground mm. that's that's really? active, not the bricks and mortar. No. It's the ground. Yep. Yeah. Oh. 29 years of pure hell. 29 years. 29 years. Oh, God. And do you ever go inside of this house? Yep. Every day. Every day? Yep. And what do you feel when you go inside? Sometimes I don't win on my own. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I have a couple of team members go with me. Sometimes we walk in and it just feels like any other house. Yeah. And sometimes we go in and it's like you can cut atmosphere. Mm. Um, sometimes we go in, the, the smell is awful. We have to open our windows. Really? What's the um, smell of? Well, I, I, you won't want me to say on camera. Really? Um, but it is that bad. Who is the man called Fred that's haunted? It was given the nickname Fred. He is a monk. He's about yeah. seven foot tall, but his real name is Michael. Right. right. Um, okay. He's such a lovely bloke. He, he, he's walked down my path. He's walked over to people of it road. Oh, people of it road. I was scared. And I had to talk to him a few months ago because he's, he never hurt nobody. No. It's not that that you fear in these houses no. or something other than that. It's something really. demonic here. You said that, not me. Okay. 
Carol had explained her feelings towards this house, which matched our own. It was now time to start our investigation. Okay, so we're gonna, this is a Tesla. And um, what this will do is charge the atmosphere and the energy in this building. And um, this, we're setting this up now. So when we do our investigation, um, the atmosphere here is charged and ready to go. So I'll, I'll let that keep going for about 10 minutes and then we'll get on with our investigation. So, myself and Bex are in the bedroom. Yes, we are. And we've got to explain. Can you make it warm in here? Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, that's interesting. Right. Sean's going to in introduce um, the bear on the bed and why it's just said that. This uh, bear that yeah. Bex is looking at on the camera here in this room senses temperature, it's got an EMF meter in it. It'll speak, if it gets warm, it'll go, uh, it's got a temperature sensor in it, it'll say mm. it's getting warm. It just said, is it getting warm in here? If it gets colder, it'll go brrrr. It'll also speak randomly um, to ask and encourage children to interact with it, and it will interact back with us. Um, in this room also, we've got this television over here. And the bear's now saying, for example, can you make a noise? And it's asking for the kids to make a noise. So if there's kids in this room or any other type of spirit, it may also interact with the bear as yeah. well as us. This television is a white noise television. We'll turn it off in a second and get a bit of white noise going. Mm -hmm. um, and in the other room, we've got a REM pod yes. as well as the Tesla, which is just charged the atmosphere yeah. in this atmosphere. And on the floor, we've got a load of balls which Bex will show you now. And the balls are there to be moved, played with and touched. And so we're going to try and get the spirit to touch them. We've also got a rocking horse, a mini rocking horse. So if anything does come in here, hopefully we'll get some interaction. So we'll turn the telly on now with the noise. Yeah. I'm going to try and not knock these um, Oh, so I'm going to stand behind them. I've got a lamp on, and that's right at them. So if we catch anything tonight, we are going to. Yeah, we'll we're we, going to we'll get on it. some sort of camera. Do you have a favourite song? So the bear keeps talking. The bear keeps talking now, it's just asking if a spirit has a favourite song. Tell you what, the, the heating's on, isn't it? Yeah. But since we walked in this room, it's cold. Yes, I'm glad you said that. Before, mate. <laughs> it's got really so cold behind me. It's, it's freezing. Yeah, and it's cold. Yeah, very cold. I can feel it actually. Can you feel it? It is colder here. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to go move. I'm going to move like here. I think. Okay. I'm just point the camera there, just in case I pick up anything. So, is there any spirits here? Does it see the doll saying it's getting warm? It's not. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's weird. It's weird. Fred, are you in here? Can you open the door for us? Or well, use your voice and make a noise. Now the lady next door, she said, Fred. Fred's real name was Michael, and he had a Simon as well. This brother, uh, Simon called brother. Simon, and Michael was nice apparently, you know what time it is? and Simon was not very nice. So if we call out for Simon, you know who, who what, and are. why we're calling out for Simon and Michael. Michael, are you there? Can you communicate with us? Okay. There was a yeah. moan over there. Yeah. The TV yeah. Let's turn the telly off now. We should have built up enough charge. And because we might not be able to pick the noise, the noise up on is... the camera if we've got that on. All right. Is there anybody here now who's joined us in our atmosphere? Can you communicate? Can you communicate with us? Whistle, whistle, whistle. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Small whistle. Hello. 
Let's sit on the bed. There's also a child in here. Um, not in here, but in the house called Emma. Was it Emma? Yeah. Or Amy? Emma. Emma. Okay, Fred, is that you? Did you hear the voice? Yeah. And again, what happened? Did you say something? Did you say again? No, it's a doll. You heard that, didn't you? There was a voice, a really low voice, and the doll, the teddy, said, Can you say something? Yeah. Again? Thanks, let's do it again. Let's ask again. I'm going to turn and keep this with me. Can you say something to us? Can you use your voice and speak to us? Or whistle? If it was you that whistle, whistle again. Oh, I like holding hands with you. Okay, well, that's a bit weird. Now, the doll's also got sensors in it, and it's just said something's holding its hand. Something's coming near the doll. <coughs> Oh I can hear that. Leave me on the bed. I'm not staying on the bed. I'm not staying on the bed. Come if that was you, do it again. Make that noise. <laughs> no way. Are you on the doll? Yeah. Yeah. On the teddy. No. Something's touching. I heard that. Listen, listen. Did you hear that? There was that thought and then the noise. The growl, wasn't it? Yeah. This place. The atmosphere has totally changed in the dark. Yeah, now that it's got dark. Yeah. It's freaking me out. Brad? I heard What's that. Your story? That was in the lot. Fuck is that? I don't like it. I don't like that. Somebody's walking about. I don't like Above it. us. Should we check outside? Because I'm not believing this. This is weird. I don't, don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Well, let me open it. I've got to open the door. I heard that behind you. Stop doing that. I heard it. Did you not hear it? See? Stop it. Hello? Wait. Hold my hand. Are you here? <gasps> ah! Ah! What was it? Clearly we were not alone, and before we continued our investigation, we got the help of the crew to come inside and point the camera in the loft, as noises appeared to be coming from in there. We found nothing causing the noises we could hear. We just heard footsteps in the loft, didn't we? Yeah, so we and just... bang as we came out, didn't we? Yeah, so we just got the monopod before we moved into this next room. Yeah. Just checked that nobody was there. No one. No one. No one. You can see it. There's the loft. Apparently it's too small, the crew said it was too small. Too small. So should we go into this next room? So we're going to go to Jean and Joe's bedroom. Yeah. We have a locked off camera there, don't we? In there already, yeah. yeah. And that's rolling, so... Let's go in. We should look. Got the uh, rem on the floor here. Oh, God. Did so they just kick? Um, oh, no. Power. Can't see. Right. Understand here. Okay, so there's the laptop camera. And we've got that doll behind us. And there's the doll. Okay, so if there's any spirits in here that want to communicate with us, 
can you make yourself known? Yeah. Speak to us, make a noise, set the REM pod off on the floor. What can you hear? Cricket. Yeah. Um, we might get Joe in here, mightn't we? Because obviously this was his bedroom, so we might find Joe walking. Shall we? Do you know we get most activity when we sit down on the bed? It's horrible, isn't it? Should we do it? It's because, you know what it feels like? It's because like, we feel more vulnerable. Yeah. Because we're so nearly missed the bed. That's the Tesla Airbox, isn't it? Which we've it had is, going. Yeah. That charges the energy in the room. So we've had it on for about 10 minutes prior to coming in here uh, and doing our duels upstairs. Okay, so spirits, you've got... I did. We're not even having to say anything here. We're hitting taps. If you're in here, communicate, make any noise you want. Close the door. Touch one of us. Or, you know, you've got to do something big. 30 East Drive. You have to. Turn the lights on or make the um, light shade move. That would be a good one. Yeah. Did you wear that voice? Say. I was behind us on the bed. Shit. That was hell. Yeah, I heard that. But you know when somebody's got the radio on and you turn the radio right down and it's just a man's voice. It was that loud. Yeah, it was. It's just mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, we should get out of here. Now let's continue. It's not we've gotta do it. I'm just gonna move around here. All right, you're, you've got your opportunity now. Me, me and Bex are here. We're wanting to communicate with you. So speak to us. We heard your voice. Say something more to us. I heard that in the other room. A tap. Go and touch the teddy in the other room if you can. Knock the teddy over. Push it off the bed. Yeah. Or move the balls. What should we see? Oh. Oh, 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 shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. God, did you not hear that? I did. Stay still. No, but the Look, light's I'm on. moving. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? The growl. Yeah! That was like you sat on someone? Yeah. Should we just retest that? Just make sure it wasn't just the bed? You do it. It gives you so on edge. That was a growl. That was like a moan, like you sat on somebody. That was, that was weird, man. That was weird. Oh, let's go lights out again. Oh, do we have to? Let's, let's go, yeah, let's do it. That's, that's, that's because we put the lights off. <coughs> that was a clean growl on that bed. Well, like knowing that you sat on something. Yeah. Oh. I heard that. Oh. It went, ooh. That was behind That was like me. a ghostly. I don't like this. Can you do another thing for us? That's the teddy. Good story. Should we check the teddy? No, no, no. No, you don't want to check. Just stay in here. Okay. All right, shut the door. Bex is pointing at the door. If you can make all these noises or footsteps above us, shut the door. I heard the noise. Did you hear what that said? What? I'm here. Oh my God. This I'm here. Are you here? 
It just sounds muted. It does, it does. Okay, do something more for us. Somebody's touching my hair. Do something more for us. Back, back. Yeah. Hold that camera. No. no, I'm switching the light on. Hold on a sec. Right. There's somebody up there. We tested this. I'm going to point. I'm going to let's let's get this to communicate with us. I'm going to knock on the roof. Ready? Not back if you're there, come on. That's weird. Why does it have to always be the lights out for the activity? I don't know, make you more, more scared, more vulnerable, heightened senses. Do that again for us. Walk above us. Switch this off. Oh, God. I hate going lights out in here. This whole bloody building, I hate it. Not the building, but the lights out thing. It's weird, isn't it? Is yeah. That? Switch the lights off for orb. us. An orb just come. Past the camera. Yeah. By the door where yeah. the door opened. Yeah. I... Just put that light on, please. Yeah. Can we come for somebody? Oh, hang on. Can we go somebody? Yeah, wait, just wait, because we're all outside. No, don't panic. Just stay there. Don't, don't just, uh, I'm not leaving you. Don't move. Oh, I can't do don't this. Don't move, just don't move. What the fuck was that? I can't do it. Stay there. You can't do it? No. I can't do this. This is too scary. Stay, get away did from the stairs. Did you hear that? Just get away from the stairs. Did you hear that? What did you hear? I heard. It was on that. I it was heard on that it. Door. No. No. That's what we do every It's a bit weird for the night. What was it? We could hear clear voices and knocks, and we felt it was time to grab Paul and try out an experiment with the portal. Paul, what, what are we doing in this room? We've got the experiment called the, the portal. Yeah, we've got the uh, SB7 hooked up to uh, the portal, um, which is an amplifier with two guitar pedal effects on. Uh, one's a delay and one's a, a reverb. So what we're gonna try and do is, if anything comes through, we get a better chance of hearing what it says because it's going to cut out a lot of the noise and we'll get some of the, the echo behind it. So it'll bring drag that word out a little bit longer so we can actually try and hear and make sense of what it is that it's said. Let's get on. Let's Brilliant. Do it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. And this is the set portal. Okay, so that's on now, yeah? Yes. Just need to turn it up. Let's turn it up. Let's get it going. So that's quite loud now, but right. because of uh, the noise reduction that's on it, yeah. it's cutting out a lot of the, the hiss that you'd normally get through with the SB7. I'll just demonstrate, I'll show you if we turn this. Hi. Normally what hi. Yeah, hi. Is that hi? Yeah. So we cut out some of that background hiss. So we can ask questions now, see if we can communicate with these spirits. Yes. Maybe it's Fred, maybe it's not Fred. We'll find out. <laughs> That said Fred. Fred? That's Fred yeah. again. Uh, are we communicating to Fred? Oh, Jesus. Of course. Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there was a, no a noise and a half then. Yeah. Fred? Yeah, that. Oh. What's going on? The door. That door. It's a knock-knock. 
Fred, can you can you speak to us on the portal? Yes. Did you hear that, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. I missed the first one, I'll be honest, but the second one, I heard it was like confirming. Yeah. We've also got a camera, locked off camera, in the room, so that's pointing over there, so we we'll catch anything that we don't catch. Fred, we, are you haunting this building? Are you, do you go upstairs and scare people? What did it say? Upstairs. Upstairs. No. upstairs. Uh, can it go any louder, though? What I can do is try and let a little bit more of the background hiss yeah. out. Fred, is your name really Michael? What's that? It's above us. Yeah, I said, yeah. Both of us? Yeah. So Michael and is Simon. It Simon. Simon that's Simon's Michael's brother. brother yeah. Fred, Simon, are you stuck here? Are you the people making the noises, the voices? Michael, there's conflicting. Heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah, again. What yeah. did he say? Yes. Yeah. He said yes. Yes, said yes. Is that you that knocked them for us? Yeah. Yeah. Bex? I, yeah. I thought it well, was. said Bex. yes or Bex. Which one was I it? Give it Bex. Bex. Was you trying to scare Bex? Because he knew he did it upstairs. In there. Why would it have done that? That sounds a bit dark, doesn't it? That was a bit demonic. Yes. I heard that. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, right. whoa. The door. The oh. door. Did we get that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, shit, we've got to go to it. Oh, yeah, I'll go on. Do you want to take that and take I'll a look? Yeah. yeah. Just I think me nerves a second. That just, freaked me out. That was that there <laughs> just opened on its own. We could hear a door going, and it opened. Jesus, freaked the hell out of me. Was nobody there, or was anybody there? I'm even nervous about stepping out here. Jesus. Oh, that's me, covering the door. I, do you know, before the door went, before the door went, I heard like a noise from upstairs. I did. And then the door went. I was pointing up, up at the ceiling. And then I, I, for some reason, I panned over to the door. It's it really quite dark, I don't know. I don't I'm know. here. I'm sure that said I'm here. She's oh, God. That, that was freaky, that. Hairs are standing up on my arms at the moment. I'm just... Uh... Hi. 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 That's a lady. Yeah. Are we communicating with a lady spirit? <coughs> Female? Oh. Can you say your name? Jesus. Right. The floor the well? vibrated. Did the anybody well? feel that floor yeah. then? It shook. Have you just come in here and stomp your foot or something because this floor shook? Can you do it again? Oh my god. What? Massive what? orb from the Portal down From to the, the floor, portal. down to the floor, yeah. Which makes sense with what Paul's saying. Yeah. They must have stopped the feet and they were going to the floor again. Yeah. Uh, Outside. So, like you said, it like started the out. But I thought you said out bet. I don't know. 
Do you want us to be on our own? No, I'm not going on my own. No, I don't think you should. But... Yes. Yes. Oh, my. Do you know what? That was like children. Yeah. Is this Emma? Are you putting that at the portal? I'm putting it at the sofa and the portal. Oh, right. no, I've not been on the nerve for a while, but that, that is, um, yeah, that's freaked me out for a little bit. That bloody door open. Fuck me, did you hear that? Mm. Where was that from? I can hear chanting. I can hear chanting. I can. Hear chanting I can. Do you know what I sound like? Oh. Bleeding curtains. Yes. Are you here with us right now? 30 East Drive was living up to its reputation and the door opening on its own was proof we were not alone. Now Sean and Paul head off on their own to investigate further. So we've now got the whole of the building to ourselves. Nobody's in here. We've got the Alice box. Which has just said intention. Intention. <whistles> climb. And that's weird. It's only one thing to climb here, and that's the stairs. stairs. But luckily we've got a camera mm -hmm. on the stairs. So if anything does come down, we will capture it. And we've got some rams knocking about as well, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. Is anybody here with me and Paul? I heard something. Mm -hmm. a click out, out in this, in a uh, stairs. Nobody here. Is anybody here? This has been the base, the hub of the, the night in here where we've had all the equipment. Oh, okay. Where, where, where did that come from? Over in that corner, isn't it? Down the bottom? Mm -hmm. That shuffling sound. Right behind us. Can you talk to us? You can use this that I'm holding in my hand to communicate through. What the hell is that? That's what, what was that? I thought something behind us. What is that there? You can hear it moving. Mm -hmm. Grasp. Grasp. Maybe that's right, Paul. It grasps yeah. hold of something. Yeah. And that's what, if you can see it, look, grasp. It must have grasped, it grabbed something, and that's what we get here. Maybe it grabbed the bag. Mm. Okay. It's really good what you're doing. We do appreciate it. What else can you do for us? Move the coal shed door. Open it or close it. Kick it open. Space. space. Are we in your space? Or is it saying if we go in a golf shed, there'll be no space? Yeah, this is true. Should we try it? it? Yeah. Button. Okay. It's a little bit random unless you can tell us more. What does button mean? Step it in here. That's the in here. All right, I'll just close this door. Now, if that opens, Paul, we'll that can only be paranormal. Yeah. Okay. If the spirit that was in here that locked one of the brick childs in here um, is it here, open the door. Show us you can do something. I can see the door. It's not opening. 
Do you recognize the name Joe Pritchard? Is the, the person in here that locked Joe in here and scared him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you come and knock on this door? Can you push against it so that we can't open it? Can you trap us like you trapped Joe? I'll push it open and then you close it. Go on, close it. If we're in your space, do something to get us out. Oh, do you hear that then? Yeah. Funeral. <laughs> That's not what you want to hear, is it really? It's a gun already. There was a noise of a whine. Demon. Oh. No way. Did that you capture that? Yeah. yeah. Funeral and demon. Laugh. Laugh. No, this is not good. <laughs> no. We hear we we heard the, the whine. It's a funeral, demon, and laugh. And we heard laughter on the pork. And we did. We heard ha ha ha. Sean and Paul had received messages from the Alice box, which led them to believe they were dealing with a demon. So they split up on their own to see if the demon would interact while they were on their lone vigils. Okay, so I'm just sat in the living room of 30 East Drive. Still got the Alice box going. And just going to see... Is anything going to come into it to me? Threat. Okay, that says threat. Hi, so I'm going to investigate the infamous coal shed or the coal store. As you can see, it's just got coal in it and all of the uh, stuff that you need for a coal shed. So let's see if I can get this spirit of Jesus Christ. This doesn't feel good. Really, really doesn't feel good. In fact, I'm going to stand away from this door. I'm talking absolute gibberish because I don't feel safe at this moment in time. I feel like something's about to happen. I feel disjointed. I'm going to go this way because I think that door's going to open. Okay, if somebody is here with me, come and let me know you're here. Open the door or close it. Do something to me. Come on. Let's see if I can put that there. Come on, if you're here with me, let me know you're here. Open the door. Push it. Go on. Who's a threat? Am I a threat to you? Are you a threat to me? Show me what's threatening. If you're going to threaten me, do something. Push the door, come on. Push the door. Please open it. Do something for me. Do something bigger than just. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As long as you do it even more, just push it even more. It only went a little bit. I was expecting it to fly open. But it, it moved slightly, but it took a lot of me encouraging this spirit to do it. Now, if it's opening doors a little bit, which is more encouraging, and I believe we may, and I just heard a weird noise then. Walking. Oh. 
Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> right. I've just had walking and soft and there's just been a noise through there. And I am really hesitant to go and have a look. Because earlier that door flew open. And it takes a fair bit to make me twitch, but that did because it was so sudden. And now I'm wondering whether to go and have a look. I absolutely enjoyed that. I did. I did. Oh, excuse that. I need to know. I just had a bath. I have got some fun on to need. Or have I? <laughs> no, I have. Anyway, see you in the chat. My bedroom looks dark, I don't know what's going on. Oh, the lamp I know. <laughs>